Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. Can you solve this problem which went viral in Japan? A recent test found that only 60% of Japanese 20 year olds were able to get the correct answer. This is alarming because it's down from 90% which was the accuracy rate in the 1980s. Can you figure it out? To get started, I'm going to go over a common mistake. Many people will input this expression into Google or into a calculator. In order to do so, you have to convert the fraction one-third into an inline expression. Many people will write out the equation in the following form. Now you, you would interpret the one-third as being grouped together. However, I would discourage you from writing expressions in this form. It's not clear that the one-third should be grouped together because this expression uses both a division symbol and a division slash, which are the same mathematical operation of division. Although you want the one-third to be grouped together, this expression is going to be evaluated by a calculator by converting this division symbol into a division slash. This will not be equal to your original expression. The calculator is going to look at the 3 divided by 1 divided by 3 as one term and it's going to evaluate it from left to right. It's going to evaluate the 3 divided by 1 first, then it's going to divide 3 divided by 3, and then it's going to do 9 minus 1 plus 1, which will give you a result of 9. If you were to transcribe it on a calculator, you want to make sure that the fraction of one-third maintains grouped together. So instead of writing this expression, you would like to write an expression which groups the one-third as one group. Now a calculator will properly evaluate this one-third and this whole term three divided by one-third in the proper order. Three divided by one-third is equal to nine, and now we have 9 minus 9 plus 1, which gives us the correct answer of 1. The problem is a good reminder about the order of operations. These can be remembered by the acronyms PEMDAS or BODMAS. This relates to the order of operations of parentheses brackets, exponents orders, then multiplication division, and finally addition subtraction. Another important rule is that if you have if you have operators of the same precedence, you want to evaluate the expression from left to right. So let's get to that. We have no parentheses or brackets in this expression. We also have no exponents or orders. We do have a division here, which is three divided by one third. So let's evaluate this first. Three divided by one third is the same thing as three multiplied by the reciprocal of one third, which is three. We now have a multiplication of three times three, which we also evaluate before anything else. Three times three is equal to nine. And now we have an expression with only addition and subtraction. So how do you evaluate this expression? How do you know what to do? Well, if you have something of the same precedence, addition and subtraction, you want to evaluate the expression from left to right. So we'll first evaluate nine minus nine, which gives us zero. Then we evaluate 0 plus 1, which gives us the correct answer of 1. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.